Hello, this is Dr. Claudia Korka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Laser Surgery. One of the uh, major um, and unique programs we have at the Institute is uh, the Temporal Mandibular Disorder Program, of course, diagnosing as well as treating uh, this particular um, multi complex condition. Um, and one of our technologies that we have um, that actually is from Europe, originates in Europe, utilizes a magnetic type of, um, of tracing, if you will. It, it's not a large magnetic field where it has an, any type of, of uh, impact from a health perspective. It's very, very low grade. However, it really allows us to trace your, your joints in a way that they move. So, or they may not move, or they may move with asymmetry or uncertainty. Um, we certainly know that when a joint and muscles around the joint as well as the jaw position is in a healthy configuration, we can expect that the jaw functions similarly throughout the day. If we have different abnormalities that allow for a movement of the jaw in different, in different directions and in different ways, we certainly have a question mark in terms of the stability and why that particular variation is there. We certainly know that some variations close to the average normal expected interval of function is expected. However, that segment is certainly limited. And we know that just like, for instance, having a car, which of course we know requires at least four wheels, when we replace those wheels, we certainly know that we have to calibrate those tires and we have to align them. The same thing with the jaw and the joints. They have to be aligned and it is aligned within a certain type of movement and any slight variation certainly is allowed within a particular interval. However, anything outside of that and not doing an alignment on the tires when you are replacing them, certainly we can expect that those particular tires will age prematurely. The same type of analogy can be applied to the movement of the jaw as well as the facial muscles and the muscles that are around the, the joint and around the jaw itself that guide and also contribute to that guidance. The teeth are the ones that really bear the load, of course the joint as well. For more information, please don't hesitate to ask us specifically regarding our TMD, TMJ uh, program at www.dclaserdentist.com.